Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name's Alex, and today we're gonna be linking our Webflow account with our newsletter app called Review. We're gonna do all of this with the help of Zapier. Let's get right into it. Okay, so if you're watching this video, you're probably collecting contact information via the use of forms on your Webflow site, and then having to manually add that to your newsletter app. I'm using Review today, you can use a different one, but what we wanna to do today is automate this process. So when someone goes onto our Webflow site and they wanna join our newsletter subscription list and they subscribe and give us their email, we wanna automatically funnel that to review and add them to our subscribers list so that we don't have to do it manually anymore. And when I send out my newsletter each week, the subscriber list automatically grows. Okay, so we're gonna do this in three super easy steps. So the first step is we're gonna go into Webflow and build out our form and get our form name because we're gonna need that later on in the video. Secondly, we're gonna go into review our newsletter app that we're using in this video, and we're gonna find and locate our API key because that's gonna be useful for step three. Step three is we're gonna use an app called Zapier, which is basically just an API bridge we can use to connect apps. And we will be using this app to connect Webflow with our newsletter app review and automating this whole process. So let's get right into it. Okay, so our first step is we're gonna come right into Webflow and we're just gonna drop in a form block. We'll drop in a form block and we're not gonna style it or anything today. I'm just gonna show you the meat and bones of it. And all we wanna do is just maybe drop this down using a little flex box so it's in the middle and we can see it. Okay, so just your standard form block. We have a name and email address and a submit button. Now, all we need to do in step one is we're gonna click our form, we're gonna go to settings and we're gonna give this a name right here in this name field. So I'm gonna call it email form test video okay so we just named our form we gave it a name that's step one step two is we're gonna come into review if you don't have an account yet set up an account it's free and we're gonna come up here to our account account settings we're gonna come over to integrations and all you're gonna do is scroll all the way down to the bottom all the way down to the bottom and we're gonna have this line here that gives us our API key this is crucial when we get to our third step when we use Zapier because Zapier needs a way to know what account is ours basically. And this key gives it that information. So our API key is gonna be right here. So we're gonna copy and paste that. Now, if you just set up your account, this API key might not be here. I had this issue last week when I was setting this up, but there will be a link right in the same spot that says, hey, if you wanna develop on our site using our API, please contact us. So just hit the little link, it'll bring you to a form and all you need to do is ask review and say, hey, I wanna link my account with Zapier. I need my API key, thank you. And within 24 hours, 48 hours, they'll get back to you and give you your API key. That's step two. So step three is we come into Zapier. Zapier is an amazing, amazing app for people who don't know how to code. Basically, Zapier serves as an API bridge between different apps. So in our case today, we wanna to connect Webflow with Review. Now Xavier does all of this automatically for us without us having to write a single line of code. It's amazing, we'll hit a couple buttons and this thing will be set up. So Xavier calls their integrations zaps. So what we wanna do is we wanna come over here and just create a zap, okay? We're gonna create a bridge basically between Webflow and Review. So we'll hit create zap. Now first thing we need to do is we need to set up a trigger. A trigger is basically exactly what it sounds like. What's gonna trigger our workflow? What's gonna trigger our transfer of data? In our case, our trigger is gonna be the form submission on our Webflow site. So when someone wants to join our newsletter subscribers list and they submit that form and give us our email and hit subscribe, that's our trigger. So what we need to do here is we need to find our app. Again, we're connecting Webflow to review. So let's find our app Webflow. Our trigger event, we have three options here. We have a form submission, new order, and updated order. We're doing form submission for the sake of this video. Again, when someone submits that form, we wanna add them to our review subscribers list automatically. We're gonna hit continue. We're gonna choose an account. This is gonna be your Webflow account. It's gonna be a different name than mine. Mine is named Alex Webflow. Link your account. I think you need to type in your username and password once, and then it's fully tied in. So just pull that in there. You're gonna hit continue. Now we're gonna set up our trigger. So. Um, if you have a Webflow account and you have multiple sites, you're gonna see all of your sites listed right here automatically once you connect. So 
For this video, I'm using my surviving your 20s site name. Okay, so now we're gonna come down to form name. Now remember in step one, we named our form email form test video or something like that. So that's the form we need to find here. That's the form we need to connect. Now, as you can see, I have three options here. Email form, email form 100, email form two. I don't see the form we set up. These are other forms on our website that we don't want. We wanna set up that one we did. So let me hit load more and see if it pulls in. Okay, as you can see, Zapier can't find the other form that we made. So this form we made isn't showing up here yet. Why is that? Well, what you'll need to do is you need to come back into Webflow and we need to publish this, okay? Let's publish this to our test domain. And all we need to do is we need to submit this form on a live site. Once you submit through the form once, Zapier can register it and it'll be able to find it. So we'll come in here and we'll publish and refresh. And then I'll just type in a dummy name and a dummy email. And I'll hit submit. Thank you, your submission has been received. Okay, so, so we should be able to go back to Zapier now, refresh and come back to our form name and there it is. So we can see email form test video showed up. We just had to submit the form once. So now it's transmitting data and Zapier can pick that up. So perfect. Our site's linked and now our form is linked. We'll hit continue. Okay, let's test our trigger. Let's see what happens. So we'll test our trigger. And as we can see, perfect, it found a submission. That's why we needed to add that submission so it could find it. We can see that our submission A is exactly what we just typed in, my name and 123 at yahoo.com. So perfect, it's finding our trigger and it's finding our form, so that's good. So we'll hit continue. Okay, so now step two, our action step. So we just set up our trigger, which is when someone submits that form on Webflow, but what action follows that trigger? Well, this is where we wanna add that contact information automatically to our subscribers list in review, so we don't have to do it manually anymore. So that's our action. So all we have to do here is we need to go and type in review, find our app, okay? Now we need to pick our action event. So we have all of our different event options here. So you can see we have our add subscriber, add item, unsubscribe, or update membership. Here we, want, we just wanna add subscriber to our list. So we'll hit that, we'll hit continue. Now, we'll choose our account. This is where step two becomes important. Remember when we grabbed that API key earlier? The first time you set this up in Zapier, you're gonna to have to type in your username and password for review, and then you'll also have to provide the API key that we got earlier. So type in all three of those fields, and then Zapier will link to your review account, and then it'll populate here, and we can just click it, okay? So drop in your API key at this step. So now your review account is linked to Zapier. We'll hit continue. And now we just need to set up the action. And this is basically, we just need to map our fields from Webflow to review. So for example, we need to map our email address field. So we'll come in here. You can see this is our form submission from earlier, 123 at yahoo.com. So for our email address field in review, we want our data email field from our form in Webflow. So we'll just click that. First name, we'll just do data name field in Webflow, Alex. Last name I'll leave blank because Back in our form, I only have a name. I don't have first name, last name, email. So I'll just leave that blank for now. Double opt-in, no, and we'll hit continue. That's it, we've mapped our fields, email and name. Okay, okay, so last thing we need to do now is just test this action. Let's see if it worked. So we'll hit test and continue. And a subscriber was sent to review just now. Okay, so perfect, so it worked. So we'll hit turn on zap. And at this point, we're good to go. So our zap is on, we can name it. We'll just do test video zap. And we'll go back to the homepage. Okay, so we can see our zap is on. And let's just do another test. Let's just make sure that we are, we are getting subscribers over here in review. So let's go back to our form, we'll refresh our page. And we'll do, um, I don't know, Luke. And then we'll do the force is strong at yahoo.com. We'll hit submit and we'll see if our zap is working. We should be able to come right into here in review and refresh and boom, perfect. There it is. See that our email is there and we have a new subscriber. Okay, awesome. Uh, let's just test one more time. Let's just make sure it's working again. Um, Leia, uh, my brother is cool. 
at yahoo.com and we'll hit submit and we'll come back over here refresh and see if that subscriber is being added and perfect it is so that's it guys we just did it we just built an api bridge between webflow and review and now every time someone joins our mailing list in webflow they'll automatically be added to our subscribers list in review we don't have to lift a finger so if you enjoyed this video please go down smash that like button i really appreciate it if you want to see more content like this in the future please consider subscribing i also appreciate that if you have any questions go down in the comments ask away i'll get back to you as soon as i can thank you so much for being here happy building happy newslettering and as always Peace.